as our tasks pop into the different stages of production, there's these little rules here that get triggered as they sit through different stages. Can I share some helpful Asana automations? Oh boy, I'll show you one now. This is our production board or one of our production boards. This is called our create board. We like using Kanban boards in our business. So this is how we take ideas from raw idea right through to completion. Now you can see a lot of these columns are empty right now because I've got a filter set so it only shows me my tasks. I'll remove that filter. You can see here as we go through each stage. Now. The thing is, as our tasks pop into the different stages of production, there's these little rules here that get triggered as they sit through different stages. So for example, when a feature gets to this stage, Riley copy review, Riley's our head strategist for YouTube, a couple of rules run. So assign task, I assume that's gonna assign the task to Riley, yes it is. And it's gonna remove me as a collaborator because basically if I've given it to Riley, then I don't wanna get updates. I just wanna get updates once he puts it in you know, my bucket, right? So there's that rule there. And then, so we set a custom field to be in the option of development. So we might be working on 20, 30, 50 videos at a time. We've got a big long list of videos. We can see what's in development, what's recorded, what's being published, what's being edited through all the different stages there. So there's some basic automations that we set. And basically with a Kanban board, it makes it really easy for each person to do their job because they just have to load up. If you want, you can do that groovy little filter to show just your tasks. I can open up my task. I review the task and I go, hey, cool, okay. I'm gonna check the script on this. Maybe I'll watch the video. There'll be a link to the Google Drive folder in a custom field where I can go and review the content. If I've got some comments or feedback, I'll put them into the comments there. And if it's approved and ready to rock and roll, well, then I will put it into production. Move into production, boom, that moves it into the production bucket. Now, the cool thing about that is it allows us to batch content. Now, I'm running a live stream right now. Once I'm done with the live stream, I'm going to go back to my production bucket and I'm going to go through and batch through all of the videos that are in my production bucket. We've got a whole team writing and crafting crafting ideas and reviewing ideas and the tech team are reviewing ideas as well. All of those basically happen at different stages along here. I just have to manage my bucket and that's a really easy way to work. So that's one of the things that we use Asana for is Kanban boards, very similar setup with our video production. So if you're doing like any kind of uh, social media content production, you can use the same kind of flow for this. First up is the inbox. That's where content is being uploaded. Then we have production ready. Once it's ready to go, we've got multiple different editors where something can sit in production in an editor's bucket title thumbnail finalization goes there and then you can see here it goes through a number of stages of review it gets to my final review bucket that's the only one that i'm responsible for i give it the final review and then once it's reviewed and approved boom we drop it into publishing so it gets assigned to g that's uh, georgia if it's a certain channel it gets assigned to someone else and then the final task is adds an additional collaborator riley so that's some basics in asana we may run a asana masterclass at some point if you're interested in that let me know in the comments because we love asana and we use it a lot if you need more help with what we've covered in this video IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.